Okay. Let me hide. <laughs> Good morning. So this is my handwritten instructions. I think I have everything right perfect. Now I'm going to write it out in a language that everyone will understand. <laughs> and I will put it in the description box below in both my yesterday's video and today's video. And this will also be posted in my group. But I'm actually going to type this out on my computer and print it off as a PDF. And that way everyone could just download the PDF. That would be awesome. Yeah. No instructions. All I'm giving you are the uh, hi, Clint. All I'm giving you. Good morning, Clint. Is the the cutting instructions. Yep. The, the actual instructions to put it together are on these videos. So exactly. You have to watch the videos. <laughs> we yeah. could do anyway. And I demonetized. All my videos. I also uh, closed my AdSense account with YouTube. And I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm a Canadian. And uh, YouTube started in May, actually June and July, to withhold taxes for the IRS on anybody in the United States, Canada, wherever, all over the world, no matter where you lived, they are withholding uh, 30% of your YouTube earnings and they give it to the IRS. So I was thrilled to pieces that I finally made the threshold and I went on to my AdSense and thought, wow, I'm getting $149, which is great because I always put my money back into my crafting. And when the payment came through, I checked my banking and only $113 was deposited in my bank by Google. And I thought, I thought I saw $149. So I, um, I went into my AdSense account. I looked through, they have been withholding 30% of my earnings, which includes super chats Anything that I've get gotten as an earning on YouTube, they've taken 30%. So there was all 30, over $30 payments that have been withheld by YouTube that has been sent to the IRS. And because I'm not an American, I can't claim that on an income tax because I'm not, I don't have an, a TIN number, which is a tax identification number. Uh, or security number or whatever they use in the United States here in Canada, it's called a social security, social insurance number. So it's a sin number. And in the States, it's a tin number, whatever. Anyway, I was so pissed off. I was beyond pissed off yesterday. Uh, I was so upset knowing that the IRS has probably $400 of mine that I earned on YouTube. No wonder I'm not getting any money from YouTube is yeah. because it's all going to the IRS and to YouTube and to their partners. Um, so anyway, I seen that and I, me and Jeff looked it all up and yes, it's very legit. They have to do that. It's the law for them now. So um, the IRS can keep my $400 because they could shove that right up their ass. I'm not even an American and I have to pay, um, American, American taxes. taxes, yeah. Yeah, so they can go go f themselves. <laughs> keep my four hundred dollars. So and so can YouTube. YouTube can kiss my ass too. And now I can swear all I want because I have no monetization on any of my videos. So yesterday I started, and I have twelve hundred and something videos. Um, I started demonetizing, so I got to do fifty videos at a time to demonet to, to remove the monetization off all my videos. And then I went into AdSense and then I closed my account. Then I got an email from YouTube saying, oh, I don't remember what it says. I'll read it to you because I kept it. I got an email from them yesterday telling me, um, hi, Crafting with Ruby. You may have recently closed your AdSense account. Without an active AdSense account, you cannot monetize on YouTube. 
If you canceled your AdSense account, you can simply sign up for AdSense and YouTube Partner Program. So they can kiss my ass and blow it out their ass and go F themselves <laughs> because they're not making any more money off of me. I'm not getting anything uh, like $113, like seriously, in five months. What the hell you want me to do with $113? Yeah. So um, it's just not worth it to me to go and put up with all this bullshit of uh, putting a, a thumbnail in, putting a description in, putting in all these tags. If I don't feel like doing it, I ain't going to freaking do it. So now I don't have to worry about it because my videos are not monetized. So I don't have to worry about being that, you know, bang on precise. So I said goodbye to a uh, YouTube uh, partnership, which means no more for me monetizing, no more money. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that because 30% uh, of that and whatever super chats I get, 30% goes to uh, IRS and another 30% goes to the people that created, I guess, the and YouTube. So whoever made the super chat bullshit partners, they got, a big percentage of your super chats. So F you, fuck you, YouTube and fuck you, AdSense and fuck you, IRS. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So they can all keep my money. They can have it. And if YouTube wants to kick me off YouTube, bye. Because I'll go somewhere else. Hi, Nan. Good and morning, it'll be, Nan. It'll be Facebook. Good morning, Nan. So yeah, I was a little bit pissed yesterday finding out that the IRS has got, you know, like $400 of mine that I earned on YouTube and I can't never get that back. So the IRS, they got smart. They gave all the Americans, all this CRB or whatever you call this. And now they're going to just take it from people all over the world to get their money back. Just start taxing everyone all over the freaking world. So yeah, keep it, enjoy it because it'll Don't be the last dollar you get from me. I can promise you that I will never monetize any of my videos anymore on YouTube, which means now YouTube is going to lose a great deal of money from my channel. Anyway, I mean, it's not going to matter to them, the billions of dollars that they're making, um, but they're not going to make any money off my channel because I chose not to have ads put on my channel. So that means any video you watch of mine will not display any ads. So you can, um, you can, um, Good morning, rest, Shakita. Sure. Good morning, Shakita. You can rest assured that uh, you can watch my videos ad-free. Any of them. Don't have to worry about uh, big fat ads coming on. And and YouTube can't just add ads to my channel. No. Not without your permission. No. And I don't have an AdSense account, so they can't add ads. They probably got blown away when I closed my account yesterday, but you know what? They're they were quick to message you. Oh, as soon as I as soon as I closed my ads and account, I got that message from YouTube in my email yeah. saying, you know, you can't monetize your videos. Well, so that's my intention, dummy. <laughs> dum dum. Yep. So ask me if I'm pissed off. Yes, I'm pissed off that the IRS has got my money and they could keep it. I don't care. I'm done. I got, I had my little fit yesterday and I was like, yep, all the hard work I've put into making YouTube videos and, and the IRS is going to keep my money. Well, yeah, bye. Yeah. My lousy, a lousy $113. Wow. Come on. Like, yeah. Oh, they I'm need that to breathe. So rich. <laughs> Hi, Shatika. Good morning, Nan. You yeah. said that already, but okay. So rich. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get back to this now that I've bitched my head off about everything. And I will be, you know, cussing now because I can cuss all I want. Don't have to worry about advertisers going, oh, we don't want her channel. She swears too much. Don't put ads on her channel. He's the real <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> okay, anyway, I've got this pattern all figured out now. We are not going to be using these as I had intended yesterday. Oh, Nan, you don't have to do that, hon. I was just really upset yesterday. I was so upset that actually my face was burning red hot. <laughs> I was so mad because oh, I'm thinking, you know, I'm a Canadian. Why am I paying American tax? 
weeks. That's just wrong in my books. But hey, if that's what they got to do, they got to tax everyone. And the reason being too, is they only, they only take 30% tax if they are an American viewer. So in my analytics, it shows you, um, it shows you the geography of where your videos are being watched from and 80% or more is in the United States. And then, you know, I've got the odd little country here and there with viewers watching from Canada, the UK, England. <laughs> Russia, wherever, you know, I've got them, but the biggest is the United States. So they take the amount earned off of there from the United States viewers. And that's what they charge tax on. They cannot charge tax on viewers from another country. So that's how they, that's how they get you because the USA is humongous and you know, majority of my friends and my viewers are all American. And you know what? I appreciate them being here with me, even though I'm not getting monetized anymore. Um, they're still welcome here. Uh, but I might cuss here and there because now I don't have to shut my mouth anymore. But anyway, we were going to use these. But then I was thinking, how am I going to put my flap on? If I put these on, so I knew I had a I had a great idea for one side of the bag, but the other side of the bag, I was like, what am I going to do with these? You know, there's a pocket there. And anyway, so I got to thinking the best way to do this and because of the size of the bag, the, the briefcase, um, we need support on the bottom. So why not take the handles and run them directly from the bottom all the way up? That way, when you carry the bag, you're carrying it with the handles, but you've also got the support of the handles at the bottom of the bag. Now, when I fill these with project bags, they're heavy, even though it doesn't seem like a project bag is very heavy, but they are. Uh, eventually, when you start stacking all of them up, you're going to end up with a lot of project bags. So these have been omitted from my, my instructions here. So again, I will be printing these all out nicely. I am going to put these in my description box. And that's only because I want my viewers and people that are not in my Facebook group to get a chance to make this humongous briefcase. And then believe me, it's uh, probably one of the biggest, big ass bags. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I don't need a big, the biggest my ass in it. I've ever made. But then, okay. It's fun and it's nice. And I, I have a lot of fun designing things, even though I make mistakes designing <laughs> them, I correct them. So my head was in the right place, but these, these uh, rectangle uh, rings were just not going to work out. So for these, we do need to keep these because these are what's going to keep our flap uh, closed. So we, I made four tabs and I've also stated the tab they're called closure tabs. So that's basically is, is a closure tag. I love big ass bags. Good. You're going to love this one, Nan. So yeah. the closure pieces, I cut them four inches long by three inches. And you're going to need four of them because you do need one for your D-ring and one for your swivel lobster closure. And these are actually the same size. And this fits perfectly in here. So... What I've been doing is uh, just folding these down a quarter inch like I did with the other. Oh, and another thing I did also is I forgot about binding. Now, the way we're going to put this bag together is we're... Good morning, Debbie. We are morning, never Debbie. going to... Um, we're never going to... Ah, that's the end of the needle. Ow. Do the, the... Because it's so big... I don't want to have to sew the lining and the back and the bottom because of the bulkiness. I, I don't want to do that. And plus we have to attach the flap. So I figured, you know, even if I done did do it that way, I would have to leave a nice big opening and, um, you know, the handles may work on the side if you wanted to do it that way, but we're not going to do it that way today. Let me just finish the one from yesterday. Yeah. So what I did you is a I, variety of choice, Debbie. I finished the one from yesterday. Which one? She finished what? Uh, I got the same message as you. 
anyway, this here is two strips of two and a half inch and I've just folded in half and made a regular binding because we're going to bind the outside of the bag as opposed to sewing the pieces together and turning it out. This way, everything will just all go together nicely and then we'll just bind all the top of it and we'll work on it that way. So you do need two strips of fabric because uh, one strip's not going to cut it. It's not going to Oh, go your video. She just finished your video from yesterday. Oh, okay. Cool. From yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, Debbie. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Now, I also did my flaps. We worked on these flaps yesterday. I did show you how I cut them. But this morning, I cut out the interfacing. So you're going to need two pieces of its lightweight and one piece of your foam in, um, stabilizer. Flexi so foam. You can use Bozo. You can use Pellon. It, they're all the same. Believe me, they're just all the same. This one's Bozo. So anyway, I've got there's my flap. So what we're going to do with this flap, now this is how wide our bag is. Isn't this big? Holy but moly. <laughs> we're going to, yes, but it's going to hold all of our project bags. And, and, some. and our little closures are going to be attached. Well, it's not going to be attached to that one. If this is my outer fabric because I put the bolzel always on the outer. The interfacing goes on the inner. So... Okay. Anyway, I got to fix that because there's a crinkle right there and I don't like crinkles. So anyway, this is going to be attached on here like this to close our bag like this. See? And I did it in a contrast color to match this. So let me just give this a quick iron because I don't like creases. And it was pretty dark in here when I was working in here this morning. Oh, why did you shut off? I think you should just add this bag to my box. I think you should shut your gap. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three holes in my little finger because I pricked it with that stupid needle. You listen here. You're going to make this and you're going to like it. Yes, ma'am. You you wanted me to make you a project bag to, or a briefcase to hold your project bags. We're doing it now. I changed my mind. I'm going back to gaming. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Oh, but I don't want to use my pretty fabric. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look what I just did. Uh-oh. Oh, where are... <laughs> oh, we my God. Can we just fix you? There we go. Um, Let's put our mouse over there so it's out of my way. Um, Yeah, so... This was all Olivia's bread idea. She's going, we need a briefcase of some sort. And then she gave me the idea. She goes, well, you know your sewing machine cover you made? And we're talking about this one right here that's on my, my Kenmore. She's talking about that. She goes, why don't you just flip it over and put handles on it? And it could be a project bag holder. <laughs> but, you know, it's a good idea. However, it's definitely not going to hold our project bags. Olivia. <laughs> well, I didn't know we're going to do so many that you've got me doing. Yeah. I mean, that is a fantastic idea. Let me show you. Is just take the, the bag. Yeah. And turn Strap it all the way around. And stitch away. Hey. Yeah. You could put a little piece in for a zipper or something or a flap. Yeah. So, I mean, that would have made a good. You know, that would have made a good bag. and it's Or even two snaps. snaps. Two snaps. A little too small. It might hold it. five of my project bags. Hi, Tracy. Good Tracy. <laughs> so anyway, Olivia was being funny. And she said, well, we do need a briefcase. She said, we need you to design one. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. I can do that. And I'm thinking, okay, I can do that. But we need a huge one. <laughs> and I'm not well, sure. It wasn't me that kept adding more projects and things to do and <laughs> more Octobers and seasons and Christmas. And now another one. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, we're just. How is I everybody? Hi, Tracy. What you up to, girl? Hiding from you, hopefully. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding from you. Yeah. Why would anybody want to hide from me? I don't even enable people. Oh, 
Yeah, right. Um, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All the fabric I've had to buy? I didn't make you do that. Your little heart said, I'm going to have it because Ruby has it. Ada? Yeah. Oh, I've seen something so cute today. Oh, God. Oh, what, how much is it going to cost me? I've got to wait and see if I even have it. If I don't have it, we're not talking about it. Okay. Where is my granny chic? Granny what? Granny chic. <laughs> chic. Did it right here. Yep. And these are the templates right here. Oh, now, no. I wonder if this has the template in it. Oh, my God. This was so flipping cute. Oh, my God. What am I going to have to buy now? Nothing. You got the fabric. I just want to make sure there's a stocking template in here, but I might not have the right template set. Are they quilt templates? or? Yes, these are the templates for the, the, uh, the housewife. I've actually seen a magazine with so, quilt and templates in. I may buy it. <laughs> by the looks of it, I don't have the right template. Bummer. Oh, muffin. I'm sure you could make it with your brain. Oh, I got the, sh the, the mitten. Oh, we could make it with the mitten. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. there it is. I do small. have it. Oh, my God, I do have the stocking. It's small. It's very small. It's called J34 by Lori Holt. Be in my bonnet. It is very small. Yes. Well, not many apples, oranges, and nuts in there. Oh, my God. There's everything in here for this quilt called Vintage Housewife. Cool. It is so cute. It's so stunning. And... Anyway, Trace, you should spend an hour money again making us do more projects. Just buy to fill this um, dumbass bag. I can't link it. But yes, I, okay, these link. are the pants. <laughs> these are the pants that you would <laughs> cut out. Now, I seen Lori Holt's channel today and I thought, oh my God, that would be. Look at a Christmas bell, a Christmas mitten with some pom poms and stockings. Oh, what else could we do? Um, okay, so she made, she's making a quilt with these right there. Those little teeny tiny stockings. Yeah. Okay, is it for the mini people? No, actually, they're pretty cool. But this here would make a really nice quilt. So one block, one block can have this applique, one could have a bell, one could have a Christmas stocking. That is so cute. Yeah, I'm drawing the line. I'm not making any quilts. So it comes in small, <laughs> medium, and large, and she made all three of the sizes, super tiny. But what she did is she made the stockings and she applique them onto a block. So she used the small, the medium, and the large. You gotta check out her newest video um and she made put applicated on all different sizes on her quilt and my god does that look stunning so i am seriously thinking of doing that but using these shapes as well using the mittens and putting two mittens together on a block with a little string and a pom-pom on it and the bell we could make a little topper for the bell and There's you can buy those little um, clanger things. And there's all kinds of things that could use yeah. for the bell. Like there's so many little circles. There's a dress in there. Well, while I was getting diamond paint, and some of them had like Christmas bells in. Yeah. That's See, that would work. And they look cute. Yeah, it would. If you look at the monitor, you'll see them. But if you go to Lori Holt's channel called Be In My Bonnet, Lori Holt, just type in Lori Holt, you'll find her channel. Tracy her says, is, you know, I'm still waiting on Block of the Month, So by Raw, by Lori Hunt. They are three months behind. Who said that? Tracy. Oh, yeah, me too. And Fat Quarter Shop sent us an email the other day saying that they were going to space them out. Uh, 
when they come in December because they didn't want to hit us with a three month bill. So they wow. were going to space them out for every two weeks for three, for three times. So every two weeks, they're going to send us a bill for the, for one row. And then a two weeks later, they'll send us a bill. I did read that email that they, uh, their suppliers are still having trouble getting supplies for that. Yeah. So by row and we That's have what Tracy three, said, yeah, we have three rows to go and all three of them are being backlogged. So, um, yeah, I did get that email to Tracy. So I'm kind of glad that they're not just like, I was thinking that when I got the email, like at the end of October, they said we were getting them. And I was thinking to myself, are they going to ding me for three months of so by row? That's going to be an awful big bill. And then I read that they're coming in December and we're not going to be billed all at once. It'll be over every two weeks. Three I'm times. surprised they didn't just take the payment out of your account anyway and then yeah, catch I up. Got, I have to approve their payment with my PayPal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They send me an invoice and says, please pay. And they give you a link to your bill and everything. And I just go pay it. I can't remember how much it is. It's $30 or something. I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking, I'm glad. I'm so glad they're not going to just nail us with three months. So, I mean, I'm sure they were, were thinking that a lot of people were going to be like, wow, you're going to ding us for three months of, wow. of uh, so by row. So, uh, so just I to let you know, you're on the very... See, I'm super, super excited. She's, she's all that. <laughs> you're Thank a bit low, Ruby. What? On the screen, you're a bit low. It's hard to see exactly what you're doing. Oh, I'm just folding over my things. Yeah, but newbies like me don't know what that means. I can't go anymore. Oh, no problem. Let me see. I can need to... my camera a little bit. Perfect. Thank you. All right, what fell on the floor? Me. Oh, damn it. You dropped the template. That's Tracy says, are you getting the sew by row? Oh my God, I'm going to sew it with you. Yes, I am. I have, I have already lots of months. I'm super excited. But Tracy, you've got to get Facebook back and then we can all hang and sew. Yes, and Tracy. Pick our fingers. Facebook, damn it. Damn it, girl. Get it back. Even just make a fake account. We'll, we'll add you. We don't care. We know it's you. If it that wasn't for no Ruby and no one how she's you. helped me, I wouldn't have done half of what I've done. Yep. She's a slave driver. She's got a whip. Oh, you're one to talk. You need to make this. You're the slave driver. Hey, I only want you to make that so you can slow the hell down so I can catch it up. And me and Olivia sometimes hang out in the evening um, and work together on cross-stitching, helping each other with cricket and all kinds of good things like that. So anybody wants to join us, you can just let me know and I'll add you and we could just hang out and have fun. But just a word of warning, it's real yeah. life. We just it, sit and chat and yeah. have fun and work and help each other. So oh. it, it's kind of nice because sometimes like for the cricket, I really needed help with that. And she <laughs> stayed up till five o'clock in the morning helping me with that. Uh, so Trace has just signed up for so by row. I just signed up for so by row. Oh. So have you got any of the sew by row yet? And you know, Lori Holt. Hey, Laura, good morning. Good morning, Hi, Laura. Okay, so here are all the pieces. So there is four pieces here. You should have two, two lobster class and two D-rings with some tabs on the ends of them, okay? Yay. So we're just going to sit these aside. And I'm done with my iron for a while. And I'm done with my mat because I don't think I need to do any more cutting right now. And I just need some nice smooth desk to move my stuff along here. 
How are you, Laura? Laura Shout morning. All right. So let's work on this front pocket in the zipper. Let me grab everything here. She and hasn't one, received what? sorry. She hasn't received any blocks yet because they are delayed. Oh no. Well, let me show you what I've gotten so far, Trace. You're gonna love it. Uh, where's my sewing button? Just to make sure you realize I'm not doing a quilt. Nope. This so by roll. Yep. <laughs> this is my so by roll. This is what I've been getting every month. I haven't gotten anything for the last two months. But I'm Laura's really back home. Love. Finally. Okay. So, in your first, in your first package, you should get month one. So this is month one. You will get month one. And the book, if you purchase the book, I purchased the book because I don't really like to go and watch videos and try to follow along on a video. So I, I purchased the book, which has all the cutting instructions. It's, I love that. And there is the quilt. So by row. Okay. Now in this quilt, Lori, Lori Holt has all her own buttons. As you can see, there is a wide variety. I've got, I think I've gotten almost every color. I'm so excited about all wow. these things because there'll be lots left over. And you get your buttons. You get your uh, DMC floss because there is a bit of uh, back stitching to do. That would be probably your iron cord, the plug-in, the needle, uh, the pin cushions. I know that you have to do uh some some you know like to make them look like pins let me see yes there's some back stitching on there and i think in this book she gives you yes so uh this is going to be a rip and sew. sorry this is this is her this is what you would draw on your block and you would outline it I know she gives you some plates in her book. Uh, Tracy so says, I'm so excited. I love Riley Blake designs. Oh, I didn't know about the book. Cool. Thank you, Ruby. Yeah, make sure you get the book, Tracy, because it's it gives you all, look at all the cutting guide for your fabric. So that is the Sew by Row book that you get month one. You get your floss. You get your buttons if you ordered your buttons. You get all of this in your first shipment. And I believe you get the backing. So where's my back? Uh, Laura says, looks like a great kit. Okay, where's my backing? Because I know I ordered the backing. So Welcome back, Nan. Here it is. Here is my sew by row. The backing is just so cute. And this is the backing for this quilt. So I ordered the backing. So you get the backing month one or one month, one month one. So that would be the look at all the fabrics are all folded beautifully, all in order. And your background fabric. Love it. So that came in my first month, all this. So the bill was quite high in month one. It always is. Uh, that's month two. Month one was the scissors. So of course, all the fabric you need is all cut in here, plus an extra five inches of everything. They oh, always give fabric. five inches in all their fabric. So that's what you get in month one so we just get this back in here just to let you know my parcels come oh my god good she got her cross so yep that is my month one this is what you get and you got this one month two is all these fabrics and it's the tomato <clears throat> cushions so it's that row. 
month three is the sewing machines and this one is super heavy lots wow. of pretty fabrics in here but i love the sewing machine row i love this one and then month four is just a fancy little um star block which is i'm telling you the weight of all this fabric is amazing in here but that's a whole entire row they give you Laura, I ordered a gold collection embroidery kit called Christmas Village Ornaments. Yep, and I could show you that. She um, did it. Yeah. And then <laughs> this month here, which is month five, so six, seven, and eight have not even come out yet. Yes, they're very happy and very uplifting. And that one is the row of irons, and I just love it. So... That's what comes in your month one, Laura. So if they're really low on fabric, I can clearly see why you didn't get yours yet. Because I haven't gotten any of mine past month five. So six, seven, and eight are due. How many rows are in this? I thought there was five, but... I thought there was eight. I think there is only eight. And then you'll get a finishing kit. If you look on the back of the book, it will show you. Yeah. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> we'll <pull> one out. <laughs> There's only seven rows, but the eighth one is your finishing kit. So that will be all your all your borders and all your binding that you require to finish this quilt with. So this one here is only seven rows. So I have five. I'm missing two rows that are coming and my finishing kit. So, and then I'll have the whole entire kit all wow. purchased uh, one month at a time. So, and I like that they take the big payment on your first and the, another big payment on the last is your finishing kit. Yeah. It's not usually too, too bad. But that that is 2.33 yards of 108 inch white fabric. This is, look at how thick this is. Wow. You know, people that do embroidery would be able to embroider these with floss. Get it out your mind. We're not doing it. Oh, I'm definitely not. This is a lot. My mom would have a blast doing this. Yeah. But I was thinking, could, from the sewing machines, could you actually embroider Singer or another brand? What do you mean? Well, along the top of the, on the sewing machines itself, could you backstitch the word Singer, oh, yeah. Yuki, Juki? You can embroider anything you want. So this has been in a delay now for three months already. This wow. kit, I should have been finished this kit by now. But they're they're behind three months, and it's because of a lack of um, of uh, products that they're waiting for. Same with our soap sampler keeps getting delayed because of the uh, what their suppliers are really short on supplies. So I'm just working with my. You need a set of A3 project bags just for your quilts. <coughs> wow, where does this fall out of? Mm. Oh. This is they are pretty, thing. Tracy. Yeah. I don't know, it must have been stuck up there. Oh my God. It fell on you. I feel like I'm going to sneeze to them. Oh. I was like that yes, last night. Oh, I, I passed it on. <laughs> okay, so embroidery. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to sew these two pieces together. You told uh, Laurie which were the embroidery that we're on about. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I'm putting you up the end in this bag. <laughs> <coughs> you don't want to make it well i've got to wait for you to finish so i can watch a video so mm. mm -hmm. uh-huh i'll be right back <laughs> 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 
Ruby told me that she ordered this and it arrived yesterday. So I went on my Amazon, ordered it, and it arrived today. And I am nervous because it's hard. We're pretty good in the UK for next day delivery on most items, so it really annoys Ruby because we order it round about the same time and I get mine the following day and she has to wait at least a week. Although this one came in four days, I think, for her. Don't know what that is, Tracy, I'm afraid. Christmas Village ornaments. Well, wow. Olivia and I discussed this last night. We're not going to turn these into ornaments. I'm definitely not making ornaments because I ain't hanging this on my tree. Nope. I want this as a wall hanging. <clears throat> so it's called Christmas Village Ornaments Cross Stitch. And that is all the little tiny old fashioned houses. Now, one thing that I'm concerned about is doing this. Okay, yes, I did. Pack off all my threads. I packed them off because I'm not using these <laughs> threads. I did get the uh, conversion from the dimensions numbers to DMC numbers. So I'll be going, going to Michael's and getting uh, DMC thread. I just don't like using thread. I'm not, I don't want to do a big project like that and have all my threads start fraying on me. And that's what happens with these cheap threads. They just, they start getting fuzzy balls like thread does. And this is 18 count. I'm not using 18 count. In fact, I don't even like the color of this. It's so putrid. Yeah. It's very ugly, pale yellow. It's so gross. It looks oh, now dirty. I've got to check mine. Oh yeah. It looks, it looks dirty. To me, that looks like a dirty piece of eight o'clock so i will be using a, a light light beige and they give you felt and they give you this bold thread to turn into braiding oh hell no i do not <laughs> even so that could just stay nicely in there because i'm not going to probably ever use that and i am going to go get the dmc so you can see there is a conversion chart online that can convert this to your dmc colors I'm sure if anybody gets the kit, if you want the conversion, just message either myself or Ruby and we would be happy to, to convert it give you the you. list. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of using other threads that I'm not familiar with. And I know DMC thread is beautiful thread. So that's, that's the whole reason. And I'm not using that 18 count eight o'clock because that's way too small. I might as well just use linen. But yeah, she here's just wants the pattern. <laughs> These houses are freaking gorgeous. So what me and Olivia are going to do, we're going to do it on a big piece of Ada cloth. So I'm going to find out um, the size of this and then I'll multiply it by 14 because that will give me the exact size of my 14 count Ada I'll need. And this way as well. And we're just going to do them all on. I, I might even do them all exactly like this on the chart, but not up. Like it's going to be straight across and then I can frame it nicely. So, I mean, I love the way they did the thread organizing. My gosh, I love that idea. 
I really did. And yeah. I mean, it's fantastic how they did it. But anyway, that's what she got in the mail with her dimensions. I also have the snow globe one coming. There are four snow globe ornaments, but I'm going to, again, do it on one piece of, of eight o'clock and do four snow globes. They are so cute too, but they're... Okay, I'm going back to Amazon to find out that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that showed me it. Or did yeah, I but I didn't think you were going to get it. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to sew these together. Change my mind. Okay. But what I do need to do is make a tab for this. So I am going to use some leftover scraps here. Hopefully I've got a piece of that one left. Um, I do not. So I'll have to cut a piece, which is no big deal. I got to lengthen my zipper because my zipper as it stands, it's only 18 inches. One, two, three cross stitch has a specific cloth and I think the thread conversion. Yeah, they do do some thread conversions, but where we found this one wasn't one, two, three stitch though. They do have for like uh, color works, uh, all those fancy flosses and those are way too expensive. So I'm not buying those. Okay, so let's cut. So this is something I never put on, but I know I have this fabric already hocked off somewhere right here. I see it. All right, so I'm just going to cut a piece off here. My scissors. I keep my scissors protected in this thing that I made. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. We just need two little tabs. Wow, you little hacker. <laughs> I said I was going to hack it. I come back to you. Hack, hack, hack. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut it down eventually. Okay, so let me use my three-inch ruler. So I'm going to cut two, two three-and-a-half-inch pieces, I think. That should be good enough. Yeah. Nan, on Amazon, we found a good deal where you got a lot of eight o'clock cheap. And it's beautiful. All right. So I okay, I'm just going to cut it three and a half. So let's cut it this way. Try to stay straight a little bit. Was the puppy out there or was just her? Just her. Oh. Morning, puppy. Jeff. Oh, I don't think he heard you. He left. I know, but I said it. Okay, so there's that piece. <laughs> and cut another three and a half inch piece. Now, i got to make sure these are directional. So let's just do them even, Stephen. So I'm going to cut them to as big as I can get them. So let me just clean up this edge a little bit here. Take off maybe an eighth of an inch. Oh, damn it, that moved. Uh-oh. That's all right, I fixed it now. It fixed it. Yep. So I'm one, two, three, it. four, five, five and a half maybe. The half mark gonna work on here. Just. That one's just a little bit hard, but it's going to get folded under anyway. So I'm going to turn my iron on. So what we're going to do with these pieces, because I have directional fabric, is we're just going to fold them under. Okay. Actually, I wonder if I should do it the other way. Yes. Let's cut these in half. So how big are these pieces again? Five, I gotta write that in the instructions. Five and a half. So we will cut them two and three quarters. One, two, and three quarters. All right. So we have two pieces. What we're going to do is we're just gonna extend the length of our zipper. A little wee bit. Put it 
I'm going to stitch it right here, but I'm trying really hard not to. So when I bring this, it's going to be upside down. So it's got to go this way. So when I fold it over, it's the right way. Okay. So that one there. Put it here. Kind of center it there, I guess. And then again, if I do it this way, fold it over the wrong side. So we're just going to stitch this across. Kind of center it. It's not a big deal because these are going to get hacked off anyway. And I'm just going to put this one here. doesn't want to catch on the bottom there. And there we go. Now we're going to do the same on this side. Only thing is you got to pull your zipper open or you're going to have problems. I don't want to pull it open that much because it makes it harder for me to close this evenly. So I think I'm going to run my machine over top of that. Of course. No, I didn't almost pulled the thread out and I'm just going to go back and forth with this zipper to keep it closed and I push squish it really tight be easier for me to put this extension on. So now we can open you up a little bit. So when we open this up, is it going to be the right way? That part's really not going to matter all that much. So again, we're going to put it here. And if I open it this way, it's going to be, well, this is the opening. I still don't want it like that. So when it opens, it's still going to go the same way as the other one. That's how we want it. Okay. So try to center that the best way you can. Like that. I'm going to stick a pin in it. So I want the zipper to stay closed. Stick a pin in it this way. Okay. Now, how is this supposed to go? Yeah. And then do that. Now we can move you down. All right, so I'm going to sew this one first. So I'm going to stitch along here and stitch along there. And this will give us a nice extended zipper because my zipper is not long enough. And I am still going to do this. stitching it good. Now I have to pull these out. Pull these out. And that is our zipper. So we'll just iron these down and we will top stitch I guess might be a good idea. You know with all the extra weight in this bag top stitching ain't going to hurt anything. That's going to work perfectly. Make sure you don't um, hit any metal pieces with your zipper. 
or with your needle. And that will be that. Done. So now we can trim this off. Open this up because now, <coughs> now we're going to trim this to the same length or same width of our zipper because we'll be sewing this in. Oops, I went really crooked there. All right, so there's that. Now I just do the same thing here. So now this is going to extend my zipper, and I need at least 20 and three quarter inches long for my zipper. So let's get her done. I like to go back and forth just to reinforce the zipper part. And I don't know if I have any in there. Nope, I do not. So we can trim this off. Okay, I've been chatting away and my mic's been muted because I sneezed. Oh. <laughs> I never heard a word. I'm sorry. Never heard a word. You were too, too quiet. Yeah, I was sneezing. I didn't want to blast your ears out. Top stitching. So what is the ideal length of zipper would you recommend for this bag? So, sorry? What's the ideal width or length of zipper do you recommend for this bag? Um, something longer than 20, so 24 inch because you can cut it off. Yeah. But this here is only an 18 inch, so I had to make it a bit longer, you which is fine because it. that just gives it a little bit of contrast in yeah. the with the with this. And it'll get cut off anyway because you'll see it's too long, these pieces. All right. Oh, it just means I need another trip to my favorite fabric shop for a new zipper because mine's 36 inches, I think. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah. So this is the front of my bag. And we want, see that just barely fits. So you see how this needed to be. I want this bit, this pocket to be same size. Yes. So we are going to, I want my zipper to open there. So we're going to lay this one down first. Move this piece out of the way. Yeah, found the end of the needle again. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of my zipper. And I'm just going to put a teeny tiny little nick in it, like so. I'm going to find the center of my fabric. And I'm going to put a teeny tiny nick in that. That way I can match up my zipper with this. Okay. Yes. So there's the center. That's where that's going to go. And we need some clips. There. So that way, whatever extra I added on to this. Um, oh, yeah. Let me write this down. Yes. Before I forget, because it's going to be like, shoot, I missed that. So I'm going to just call these zipper tabs. If you use um, if you use an 18-inch zipper. Zipper tabs, if using 18-inch. So you're going to need two pieces at... Uh, three and a half by five and a half. 
Okay. And that's only if you're using this size of a zipper. Awesome. Yeah. So make sure we line these up. And I kind of like doing the zippers like this because it's a hidden seam. So you don't see it. You know. Make sure your zipper is upside down and the zipper pull is on the side that you want to open. So if you're left-handed, you want your zipper pull over here. If you're right-handed like me, zipper pull that way. Okay. So now I'm just going to go and stitch all. Oh, no, I'm not. I got to put my lining on first. Okay. So again, I'm just going to nick it because it just helps line it up and get it centered. And I mean it, the tiniest, tiniest nick will help center your fabric. Oh, it's a good trick. Yes. So see, all three of these are all lined up now, all three nicks. And then you just go along here and just replace your... Uh... I'm going to put another one here. I don't like how the fabric shifting. I like that. And that. And that. There. 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 And put this here. Now, before I do anything, um, I'm going to try and bring that zipper down a bit so I can zip it up. There we go. Now we're going to stitch that across. And it doesn't quite line up here, but you know what? It will um, get it all ironed and everything. So now I'm going to stitch as close as I can, and I'm just not using a zipper foot. Are you using the quarter inch foot? Yep, I'm just using my regular open toed foot. So. Getting as close as I can to the zipper. I'm just kind of dragging. So now I've got to move the zipper out of the way because the zipper is in my way now. So we do have to move it. There we go. our zipper on, on the bottom part of our pocket. So what I like to do is open it up like this and it's a big piece. I'm just going to push this with my finger and I'm not even bothering to iron it yet. And we will square this up in a bit. Okay. Then you're going to take this side which is the front of this. And you're gonna pull it down and you're gonna do this and then we'll top stitch it and then we'll square it all up after.
kind of wished I put some interfacing on these too. So you recommend putting in the face on just to give it some stiffness? Yeah, I, I kind of don't, don't like it like this. It's just so flimsy of a pocket. I mean, it's going to have the bolzel on the very back when all this piece is joined. But I'm just thinking in the front here, a nice little bit of interfacing to stabilize this. So I think okay. I'm going to cut some before I continue on sewing this piece together. So anyway, so now you're going to take your two top pieces and you're going to decide what you want on top or what you want in the front. So I think I, I kind of want that. that. That'll be my front panel. Yeah, it will separate from the blues a bit. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Call this even here. Nobody's chatting at the moment. So I'm carrying on sewing. Yep. I will catch you up. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. Wishful thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I will help you. You know that. I know you will. For being a first-time sewer, I will definitely tag along and show you step-by-step step what to do. So, Just so you don't screw it up and have to rip any of it. Yeah, I don't if rip. I've been. <laughs> to join my little messenger group, you're welcome to join it. But we sit and chat in it, so we we actually craft and chat, um, and we figure things out. We, we figure things out. Figure it out. <laughs> now I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to put this piece on, pretty side down. There's always that is cute. Pretty side down, and I'm lining up my sides the best I can, and then I'll start in the middle here. And I'll just lift my clips and replace them with the lining piece on it as well. Like I said, I probably should have put some lining or interfacing on all of this. So I'll just cut some pieces and uh, stick them on the top and on the bottom and give this bag. Like I just don't want to make it so thick that when I go to sew it, it's yeah. have a hard time. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just open the zipper up a little bit and actually Nan, we have a messenger group, uh, Crafting with Ruby, and if anybody needs help on doing projects or explanations or just to hang, it's real life, you might hear things, you might not hear things, but Yep, and we sit there with our videos on, helping each other out, talking, laughing. Pushing me wearing. on. <laughs> it's just a little help. It's a little help messenger to help people. So if anybody wants to join it, you just let me know and we'll add you. But the thing is, is you have to be our friend. Yeah. Somebody's friend. <laughs> We need friends. Yeah. Ruby has helped me so much doing these cross stitches because I've never done it before. Okay, so the same thing here. I'm not even going to bother to iron it. I'm going to flip it up. And before I top stitch it, I'm going to add that interfacing. So we'll give it a good press then. So see this little piece here is just kind of hidden inside. And oh, your yeah. zipper will open up and there's your pocket. Pretty. There's your pocket. Where's your pocket? There is no pocket. Well, we have to add this to a piece of fabric, I guess. Mm, it might help. Yeah. Then it can earn its name of being a pocket. Yeah. I'm At the moment, it's a flap. This is not long enough. 
or wide enough for the side. Morning, Tiki. Okay, so let me just measure this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, I'll be damned. It's the same size as the sides, right? Wow. Let me just have a look. I thought it was 15 and three and one quarter. No, it is no. 15 because this is wow. cut to 14. So that's a little bit of overhang. Yeah. 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 So what I did yesterday, this is the inside of our bag. This is the outside of our bag. So now this has to be attached. I am going to put interfacing in here because I really, this is bugging me yeah. and it will bug me till the cows come home. So let me turn my iron on. This here, I'm going to cut another piece of fabric um, in this, if I have enough, I hope I do. Uh, 15 by 20 and three quarters so I can attach this pocket to it because I cut up the piece I, I already cut for it. Okay, so let me just measure this with a ruler. So we know we need it to be 19 and three quarters long by um, we're going to cut it to uh 10 inches so 19 and three quarters by 10 inches two pieces two pieces and then we're going to cut two pieces <coughs> so we need four of those i gotta write this down so 19 and three quarters by 10 inches times four and then we got 19 and three quarters by One, two, three by three and a quarter. So 19 and three quarters by three and a quarter times four. Okay, gotcha. That will be for the pocket. <clears throat> okay. Awesome. There's that. Now let me see if I have a big enough piece of this left over to cut another piece. I sure do. So I need to cut another piece of fabric that is, oh, move you, oh shit, and move you, I don't need you right now, sewing machine. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to line this up, which I think I have a salvage on there. Oh, the salvage is on both sides. Well, okay, let's just cut it off. Let's just be happy and cut it off. Okay. All right, there's a good edge. And my light just took a wipe out. I don't know why it did that. I should get Jeff to hang that light for me because it just keeps falling. Yep. Yep. And a hook for your em uh, embroidery floss. Yeah. Okay, so let's cut this one to 20 and three quarters since we've already got it up here. 20 and three quarters. Twenty and three quarters. 
twenty and three quarters. All right, I still have a piece of fabric left. Yay! Nice size fat quarter for sure. All right, that's done. Now we need this to be fifteen inches. Right? My sides are 15 inches. Let me just check. Yep, 15 by 20 and three quarters. All right. So there it is. Measure twice, cut once. 10 and 15. Or in my case, measure five times and still mess up. That would be me too. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> Yeah, right. Did you like that cut? Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to put the inner the stuff on there in a minute. So that is another piece. So let me fix this here. So I forget now. Oh, shit. Where's the pocket? Where did I write pocket? Now the sides, I, I have the sides right. Same as bottom, but cut two of each. Okay. So flap, straps, binding. Where's pocket? Okay, let's, side. let's put pocket. So these pieces here, I've got to measure them. They're about rough. These are rough because this is going to be. So this was originally um, 11, no, 10 and a half. So I, I've got about a quarter of an inch seam here. So 11 and three quarters, 11 and three quarters times two. And this piece here is one, two, three, four. Four plus a quarter, so two at approximately um, two uh, and three quarters by twenty three quarters times two. So this will be twenty and three quarters by what did I say? One, two, three, four. For some reason, that's a little bit crooked there. We're going to say by, for, we'll go four and one eighth. And you can always just trim it. It's better to have a little extra than be short in yes. case of, <clears throat> and you need two of those. Now for interfacing, you need 10 and three quarters by 19 and three quarters. And you need 19 and three quarters by three and one eighth. <coughs> Jeez. Okay, so we're done with this. I'm just going to get that moving. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. That's <laughs> Interfacing. So, now I'm, I'm doing this, but you guys will do this before you sew the damn piece together. Hopefully. You know. Hopefully. So well, I this just shows you you can do it at any point, don't if you forget. Ten inch. I need two pieces. So I need four pieces at ten inches. So. I think I need to put um, it on standing order. Flexi form and interface. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's more than enough. You know, for goodness. There's that. There's next door. Yep. There's that and that. So let me get my long ruler. Sit it here. Put it there. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more fabric so I'm not pulling this. 
stretch it over this. So this is going to give me my four pieces. So right there. Fold it over. Like that. And I'll be holding it down. This is how I cut four pieces at once. Ruby, you've been live an hour and a half. I have? Yeah, well, an hour and 20 minutes. I push nothing. <laughs> now I'm just going to carefully slide my ruler out and pin these so they don't shift while I'm cutting them into 10 inches. Do you have a drink there? I got my coffee I've been drinking. Okay. Just checking. All right. You're good. Oh, well, I'm real good. <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. So after straightening that, you just muck it up like that. Of course. You know, you got to do that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Muck it up now. Get it right the first, the next time. going to cut with our left hand because I'm so good at it. Oh boy. It's going to be a little crooked but hey. <laughs> That's a ruby cut. <coughs> it's a sucky cut. That's a ruby cut. Now I'm going to flip this around. Cut it to 10 inches. And get it all nice and level. So we've got six here, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here. And of course, the pin is going to be in my way. And here. Okay. Gotta take these pins out because they're in my way of the ruler. <coughs> Let's try again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am way better with my left hand. So this is how you cut this if you want to waste some. Okay. Now I'm just pinning this back together because I have to cut a quarter of an inch off because it has to be 19 and three quarters. So I'll just cut a quarter inch off so it's nice and short. I'm not going to hang off the edge. There we go. We're going to cut that little tiny scant bigger. There's my four pieces. All cut in the same size. Awesome. Yep. Do you need to stand up and walk or yeah, move? I'm going to get up in a minute. I'm not even Good. sitting on my chair. I'm sliding off. <laughs> okay, so there's my four pieces for the pocket. This is for the pocket. Now I need to cut two pieces at three and a quarter. Four pieces, sorry, at three and a quarter. So this should be kind of easy. It's a small piece. And a quarter, so we'll just cut it like this. And then I'm just going to fold it over because I'm just dealing with a very small piece. And one more fold over. All right, there we go. That nice and straight. It's about as straight as it's going to get. Where is the hind dog's hind leg? Yep. That's my cutting as well. So we have 
Good morning, Martha. Hey, Martha. One, two, three and a quarter. One, two, three and a quarter. Yeah, that was my finger again. <clears throat> Didn't want my finger anyway. <laughs> and then we're going to cut a little tiny piece off this edge because I don't want it hanging to the seam. And there are my four pieces for the flap. Okay, we are good. <clears throat> done so, and done. You know, if you want to waste a little bit, you could cut it like that. But because I have so much of it and I'm a cheap and I'm not a cheapskate, I just do it that way. I do it the cheater way. You do it any way you can. Instead of roll, rolling this out, cutting each piece off here one at a time, I do not have the patience for that. So I'd rather waste, a, I don't know, five inches or so, whatever it is I wasted. So not really that much. Okay, so that's that. Now let's iron these. That gets that thick batting. So I'm doing this the hard way. You are going to iron this long before you sew it. So basically, if you when you cut it out, make sure you put all the interface and uh, this shut off. Dirty bitch. Tiff things on first. Yes, you gotta get up. This shut off on me. Yep, turn it on. Go for a wonder. Yeah, it takes five minutes to, to heat up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I cut these so perfect, I can't even get them apart. Huh. Let's see how good they fit in here. Already, see, I can push it right up to the seam because I have already sewed this. So it can go right up to the seam. And then that's perfect. Move it over a bit. Perfect. Happy Sunday, Martha. You're in a good mood. How did your evening go, Martha? Did you have a good time? You probably did Halloween evening. So I'm doing two, same as I've done all throughout. I'm just going to carry out what I've been doing just to keep it all, you know, and make sure you get it under your seam now. But see, I like that it's, I'm cutting, I'm adding this in after <clears throat> because um, it shows that you, you can add it. If you make a mistake, you can add it afterwards. After. It doesn't make a problem. No. So don't be scared better. of it. It's actually better because now you don't have any of it stitched in there where it's thicker. And then, well, it's going to be top stitch. So this will be tacked down with the top stitch because I didn't top stitch my zipper yet. Yeah. What did you need plugged in or something? Oh, I was going to ask you to find a way to hang that lamp. See that light? Because it just, it, the cord is too short and it just keeps falling over. And it's pissing me off, okay? So stop pissing me off. <laughs> Just That's my job. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Morning, Jeff. Like that? No. Um, you could even hang it on the wall. Oh, like there? Something. How? how it's because the cord is too short. I've got it plugged into my USB port over there. <clears throat> there is another option. Unplug it. Plug it down here. You can't. It's plugged in. I don't have another USB plug. <clears throat> Trip to Michael's. Oh, oh hell no. I see what you mean. Yes. That's my external USB thing. And I've got all the USBs in it. I see what you mean. Yeah. So, is there a way to... Because you can take the leg off that. Do you have a clamp, maybe, to clamp it to the wall? Um, uh, nothing really to clamp it to the wall. You, you have no hose bracket? Hose clamps. 
Oh, you mean like the metal ones like this? That are like a C. It's a C clamp. And then it's got two screws in it that holds it. That comes off. Anyway. I see what you mean. <clears throat> I'm going to get up. Uh, yeah. You need to get up. It's, it's, see if you got one. It's actually a copper, copper piping clamp. It's like perfectly. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Is that Linda Shaw? Linda Tree. Linda, Hi, Tree. Linda Tree. I'm getting up and I'm moving my ass around. Oh. She has to oh. move her ass. Oh, my How are you, Linda? Shake it, baby. <laughs> I was thinking more like you've got to move it, move it. <laughs> By the lemurs. Oh, I bet you had lots of snuggles. That's the best part of babysitting. I wish someone would take these crackers away from me. I keep nibbling on them. I'm nibbling on a pumpkin cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Linda's tired. Did you win lots of money, Mark Arthur? I don't know how to play euchre. I'm stupid at that game. I don't know the game. I don't know how to play it. I don't understand it. Hmm. I did try to play it once, but I sucked. All right, so now I'm just going to flip this over. Oh, Linda yeah, way switched. more better. Way Good. more better stability. Martha says, no money. And Linda says, super, uh, super, a little tired. We watched the babies from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. yesterday. Oh. was a great time with them. Aw, awesome. Lots of baby snuggles. Okay, so that one's done. Wow, that really, and I find this fabric actually very thin mm. for a quilting fabric. I find it very thin, but. I think that vintage fabric I've got a bit thin, but I don't know what I'm looking at. No, this is, this is paper, paper. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that with the iron a little bit. Okay, heat it up a little. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick my second piece down. Numbers. That's gonna work. Yay, I finished the house. Oh, you done it? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> I think I do like it better with uh, the window panes as no stitching. 
Yeah, I wished I would have done that. Yeah. But I wasn't thinking. I was just rushing to get it done. <laughs> Gotta beat Olivia. Gotta beat Olivia. <laughs> yeah, no. I wasn't thinking that. Oh, yeah, you were. And even if I was, I wouldn't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm gonna do them poop piles of poop. I mean acorns. Yeah, they do look like piles of poop, but they're super <laughs> cute. So I'm just gonna press that now and then when I top stitch it, it'll top stitch nicely. See, that's got duck beak. I don't want any duck beaks. That's good. Now, we're going to do this piece here with these. Uh, Debbie says, Ruby, I ordered the sewing room mini house like yours, and once again, they lost my order. What? Oh, my God. Oh, I would lose my shit. Wait, what's wrong with the uh, cordless one? It leaks. When I squirt it for steam, Got the water spits out on the fabric now. So. Uh Debbie, tell me one compensation. This has happened one too many times. Oh, my God. I would ask them for another month of free prime. Yeah, at least. Mm -hmm. You're in a sewn group. You had to delay the sewn group because you couldn't get their order on time. Lay it on thick. That's hot, my Ruby. <laughs> Good enough. Can you turn it towards my table? Oh, they just give her a money yeah, that's back. Gonna stay. That's just going to flop around. Well, I can make it stay. Okay. So you don't have a hose clamp? No. no. Ruby. No. What? They just give her a money back. Oh, man. It doesn't help you when you're, you, you're doing something with people. But like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Damn it. That, that steam hurts. Well, yeah, it's hot. I was holding my <clears throat> fabric. I let the steam go. At the bottom here, on the edge of the iron. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's good. And I'm just going to iron this out. It's a pity you don't have another string of lights like what's under your sewing machine for your shelf. There, this stiffened this right up. It was yucky. All right, now I can top stitch it. But before I do that, I'm going to, while I got the iron hot, I'm going to iron my foam stabilizer on this piece. Because this is one of the sides. How do you know what side goes to the material? Because, like I explained yesterday, one side is rough and you can feel the sticky bits on here. The other side is super smooth. Okay, I'm feeling the fabric here. Yep. You can <laughs> feel one side is bumpy. The other side is smooth. 
Um, okay, if you say so. I better check my order again. Oh, God. top stitch and quilt these pieces okay So will that not saw the pocket closed? No. No, because you haven't put the pocket on yet. No. Okay. Answers my own question. <laughs> all right. I have to make. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the wrong way and sew it all together. And well, not if I'm in chat with you. I can help you. <laughs> I just saw the law that. All right. So. Now, let's see how there well we this fits. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, it fits pretty darn good, and I'm not going to trim it down at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna quilt some... Wiggly lines. I don't know what I wanna quilt on these. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, I do like the squiggly lines, but... All right, let's do squiggly. It's the only thing I know. <laughs> it's very easy. You can quilt whatever you want. Yeah. But you do need some quilting lines in this. And the reason being is it's going to hold this in place. So really it wouldn't matter if you get sewing foam or sticky foam because you're, you're sorting it anyway. What's that? See? Um, if you were to get the wrong form and get sewing form instead of the oh, glue, yeah. the iron. Well, I wouldn't buy sewing foam. I wouldn't dig that too much. The thing is, I don't like sewing interfacing. Yeah. Laura says, what about wood or water quilting? I don't know what wood or water quilting is. I don't either. Is that just the like the lines of the pattern? Wood would be a knot that you went through went round? I don't know. That's similar to water waves. So 
we're just, oops, we're just going to be quilting the pieces that have the stabilizer on it, the foam stabilizer. That's the only piece you're going to quilt. Laura says, easy, curvy quilting looks good. Yeah, I love it. I, I did it on my project bags and I thought, geez, that is so cute. Why didn't I ever do that before? All these times that you did the slugs trail. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I ran out of thread on this one, so I might as well carry on because I don't want it to um, be different. Be Let's just trim you off. Okay. Bye. Get off me. One more. And that's that. Look at how cute. Pretty. Yeah. We are done that piece. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to mark happening up here, up from the bottom. So actually I'm gonna I'm gonna mark one inch. Because it's a half inch seam. So Welcome should... back, Tracy. Tracy says, super cute. Stop sewing to here. I sew a half inch. Stop here. Let me just see. Okay. So I'm going to mark my one inch mark here. And I'm going to mark a half an inch just to make sure I have a half inch seam. That doesn't look like a one inch. It's not. There we go. Okay, so when I sew my sides on here, I'm going to sew up to this line. Okay? And then I'm going to back stop. And then when I sew here, we'll carry on down there. But first of all, so this is the bag pocket front like so and I'm going to attach these two pieces together by just doing an eighth of an inch so actually these pieces shrink up after so when you open this up you have a fully lined pocket yay you see yeah I get it yeah so this has to be sewed down. Yeah. So it's actually I'm just gonna follow my bag. Kind of base it. Doesn't even have to be a straight line. It's just going to hold your pieces together so they don't shift on you. Why did you do that? Because it's Ruby's live. Could be. <laughs> That's what causes my thread to break. Mm. Just keeps wrapping around that. So whoever made the threading process of this are stupid. Sucked. Sucked big time. Yes. Now, a huge difference. 
I'm going to trim all this down because, wow, look at this. we got to square this baby up. We're going to have to square them all up now because once I quilt them, they're going to require squaring up. <laughs> There's the back, there's the front, and there's a big, huge, huge, nicely done, finished quilted pocket inside, stiff as a board. Yay, I've got somewhere to put that big ass ruler of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this definitely has got to get squared up. So I need to square them all up the same size. And it needs a nice zipper pull too. Hi. Hey, ho. hey ho. are you making one or are you going to put a charm on, a chain? Oh, I don't. Get out of here, flight. I hope you die. <laughs> right. So here's the flap. That is the inside of the flap. I'm not quilting that, but I will quilt this. This so is anything part. that's got the stabilizer on, the you're going to quilt. Got you. Yep. So it doesn't shift. Yes. If you ever want to wash it, it'll be washable. Uh, Tracy says, I learned of Juki for the first time when I found Ruby online. It seems very nice. Yes. I love my Juki. I love, love, love my Juki. Serpentine. You just go back and forth. You know, I couldn't sew a straight line line if you paid me. Even though I've been sewing for many, many years, I still can't sew a beautiful straight line. It's not a requirement, is it? What's that? It's not a requirement. Nope. There you go. So it basically helps, yeah. Yeah. And with the foam stabilizer, it helps it really helps you to maneuver this <laughs> it seriously helps Tracy says, the quilting looks like a gentle ripple in the raindrops from the pink fabric. Yes. Doesn't that look nice? Mm -hmm. I absolutely love stitching, doing this. This is going to be my go-to favorite quilting line now. Now, we are going to sew this together for sure. And we're going to just leave this side open for now oh boy <laughs> yeah i'm not going to do this right this minute but i want I'm to try. 
and line these up the best I can. Where are my clips? So I'm trying to line up my seams here. So we are not going to quilt this piece. No, you don't need to quilt that. So this is the part that we're going to stitch up. So I'm trying to match up my seams the best I can. Yep, perfect. Oh, the puppies are playing together. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you can see when you quilt something, it shrinks. Mm. It always shrinks your fabric a little bit. So you can see the pink is bigger than this now. So, but that's that's what happens. Okay. So those two pieces are done for now. Yeah. yeah. We've got the rest of our quilting to do, which is the front and back. So we need to quilt this one because this is one of the, this is the back of our piece. And then we've got to do our sides and then that's it. <laughs> oh, oh. be a ruby stitch if you didn't pull it out. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a day in the life if it didn't. Tracy would like to know, how do you handle the shrinkage from the quilting? Do you need to trim everything yes, to need size? Yes, square everything up, yes. So I'm going to have to take a little bit off of all of these pieces to square them all up. Might not have to square these up, <clears throat> but I Could will have to. Because these are all getting sewn together anyway. Yeah. Could you take that into consideration when you're first cutting the fabric that there's going to be shrinkage? No. Nope. Because nope. nope. everyone will work differently <clears throat> in every fabric. Yeah. So it all depends on what you do for quilting. If you don't do the serpentine and just do straight lines, it might work differently. Yeah. So I would just rather square it up than use a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
that side is done. This side is done. Uh, these are the sides. This is the bottom. Normally I wouldn't quilt a bottom of the bag, but you have to, for this stuff's going to shift. <clears throat> so we don't need to do that. So everything that's got stabilizer on, you quilt. Yes, quilt it. I would definitely quilt it, and I love the serpentine. I highly recommend you doing it this way. It's quick. And you don't have to sew a straight line. You can go as crooked as you want. <laughs> the crooked, the better. Every single line you do will be different. Never a same. So that's that's the fun part. Lucy, are you going to be making the project bag briefcase? What's that? Hang on. What'd you say? I just asked Tracy if she's going to be making this. Oh. She says, I always have to make the quilt backing of Batty backing and batten four inches larger than the quilt top on right. my long arm machine. Yeah, I've got my other glasses on. I haven't got my readers on. I hear you, Tracy. I do understand. Okay, that one's done. Now we just got the two sides to do. So not that one, but this one and this one. Huh? Where's my other side? You folded it on. No, that was the bottom. Oh, there's two here. <laughs> don't do gonna, that <laughs> i was gonna freak right out okay so remember when you do your serpentine lines they gotta all go up and down or sideways keep them all consistent Sewing it together is the easy part. So I was cutting out and fiddling it. Also, I'm stitching this at a number three millimeter length stitch because the bigger you're stitching, the, the much nicer your quilting will be. <laughs> if you use two Tracy, it's called the uh, uh, slave driver's manual. Tracy would like to know Will you have a book, a pattern book, with all your designs in, Ruby? No, I probably will never make one. I'm too stupid for that. Yeah, right. Okay. I mean, what you ladies think of out the fresh air, it amazes me. We well, only see, talk about somebody this. like me, okay, for instance, somebody like me goes ahead, designs a bag, and then puts it up on YouTube and only shows you, oh, look at the bag I made. You can go buy this on my Etsy, the pattern. As if I would do that. 
not worth friends and family. That so pisses me off that 90% of my people I used to follow turn to charging for all their free tutorials. They just show you the bags or they show you something they made. Yeah. And you go buy the pattern. Who's that called Ruby a slave driver? She's got me doing so many things. I oh hope boy. they enjoy the IRS tax bill. And then 90% of them will say, well, this is how I make my living now. Okay, go get a real job. Tracy, I've got the fabric, I've got the machine, I just haven't had the time yet. I actually unsubscribed from all those people. I unsubscribed from them because I'm not paying for any of their patterns. Yeah. Ever. And most of the time your patterns turn out better, more usable or user-friendly. Just start getting greedy. Yeah. Not just quilting. I'm talking paper crafting. Oh, look. I, did, I made a briefcase, guys. This will be $15. Just for the paper pattern. Or just for the pattern. download. Okay. So those are sides. This is a bottom. This is a side and a, and a side. This is the inside. So this Crazy. is all lining, which we need nothing to do with at this moment. Tracy, the trick is to put an idea in her head while she's figuring that out. You catch up to what she's doing or haven't you done? Okay. So <laughs> now here's what we're going to do with our handles. Hey, this didn't let go. Didn't cut. Wow. All right. So diet. Now I know that thread's not going to come out. Hi. Hey. Ho. <laughs> hey. So I'm hoping my handles will be long enough. So um, what we need to do is divide this bag in half and find the center. Good morning, Linda Shaw. Good Linda morning, Shaw. Linda. Or afternoon. It's going to be afternoon in a moment. Mm, it's 5 p.m. here. All right. Tea time. So, I don't know if these are going to be long enough because these have to go all the way up the sides. I had a gut feeling these were not long enough. So is this I'm the last thing to cut. This is the bottom of the bag, and this is where I want to put the handles evenly, of course, in here. And then the other one is going to go the same way. So what I have to do is cut another length of this and attach it. So it's going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. So we're going to square them up and X them. And then we will do the same thing at the very bottom here. We're going to make another box with an X so that these handles, Do when you pick move. up your bag, your this is the bottom. So the weight that's in the bag will be carried with your handles. But I had a gut feeling with that idea, this wasn't going to be long enough handles. Sorry. <laughs> this has to come up a 15 inch side and have room to carry over. So, you know, definitely not going to come up twice so let's cut another length of um of this we'll attach it here we're going to rip this is out. so pretty we're going to rip that out because i have to attach another piece here so i'm just going to fold this over and kind of pin it down because I'm going to have to cut more bozel. Okay, so I'm going to attach another piece to here. 
So we're going to have double the length. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to go, what, 15, 15, 50, like 45 just to cover the, the bag. Yeah. yeah. It needs to be a very long handle. So we'll flip this over like so. Like a saw. Yeah. No, I'm going to cut two more pieces. <laughs> so let's do that right now. So it work out exactly how long it has to be. It's going to be twice the, um... oh boy, please tell me I've still got pink left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like it, my friends. Are you telling me I used all my pink? Can't be. Oh, well. I guess I did. Okay. Yep. Oh, boy. Well, that's just going to look stupid. Um... Could you have one handle being one color and another handle being the pink? No. No, no, that's not going to look right. Well, the handles are going to be the same color as the binding. So I'm going to have to cut all new handles here. Okay. So I need. All right. So this was the good, good side here. I need four pieces of four inch handles. And is it the right direction? Uh, no. Or does that not matter? Um... I guess with the handles, I don't really care about that. Okay. But anything else, like if you're doing a pattern, yeah, you that's definitely going to matter. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use plain <laughs> or spotted. Yeah. Well, so much for that, guys. But you got to do what you got to do. So I need four of these, and I'm going to join them together. And I think I'm just going to use strapping instead of bozo. Okay, Nan. Nan's going to be right back. Okay, Nan. So there's one. And we'll join them together. So we'll get a nice long handle. And we'll just put a strapping in it instead of bozel. Because I'm not going to fight with cutting three quarters inch bozel again for this long handle. So. So two on each. You're going to need two width of fabrics. Pieces. Okay, that fly is annoying. <laughs> what fly? The fly that's flying around you. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, it's whizzing in and out. Okay. I don't see it. Because if I did, I'd kill the little fucker. <laughs> So I've just checked my order and I got the saw in stabilizer. I'm a dumbass, I know. What's what do you mean? The foam? Yeah, it's the saw in one. Oh no. Well, you know what? You could just still cut it, pin it, because you're gonna quilt it anyway. Yeah, that's why I was asking that if you get the wrong one, because I knew I had. Um yeah, no big deal. All right, so which way does this gotta go? Nope. I'm going to do this end first. Okay. Um, Actually, I do not want to do this on the bias because this is where we're going to have weight. So we're going to just do it this way. Yes. Straight up and down. A couple of times. Okay. Cut this bias edge off. There's that one. Make sure you sew it right sides <laughs> up. Yeah, they're both going the, the right oh, way. Cool. Alrighty then. Yeah, I've got that flies in and out again. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's it's doing zoomies. <clears throat> Missed it. Yep, I did. <laughs> I can still see it. I hate them things. Gosh, I don't know how I don't know how they get in, but they get in. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I got to re-sew them. I sewed them at a three millimeter length stitch. We are not going to do that. That's too big of a stitch. Uh. So now I sewed it at a one inch. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okie doke. So what we need to do now is fold all of this. Damn it. I wish this thing would work. I don't want to make all of this, but I think it's not big enough. Do well, you have the bigger one? I do have the 25 millimeter. Why don't you have the foot that turns it over? I'll try it. So I really think my fabric is too fat for this. But you said it was really thin. Yeah, it's really thin, but yeah. let's just see what that's going to look like. Oh, damn, no, no, too small. Okay. This is too small, and it's the biggest one I've got. 25 mil. No, I got to do it all by hand. Mm, this okay. is anything strapping. Quicker, easier, and faster. So, unfortunately, these little babies we can't use. Because can't you take the middle out? The bozel? Yeah. So you know Hell no. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Hell no. I tell you, as a northern. Okay. <laughs> we need nice long handles because the way this bag is going to be there's going to be a flap but the handles are going to just drop to the floor yeah and amy james says afternoon my crafting hoodlums hey that's amy. ruby all so right a hoodlum. back to this drawing board and i guess i can take a break because it's going to take five minutes for this bitch to heat up yeah, I was just about to remind you it's two hours, 17 minutes. There. Puppy the plane. Let's pull this out. So this is three-quarter inch strapping. Do I need some of that? Um, No, you can use your... Oops, I didn't cut this. You can use your... um, You can use your bolzel like I was originally. You don't okay. have to buy the strap ink if you don't want to. Yeah, but I might need it. Well, then go look for three-quarter inch cotton strapping or look in my link in my description box because I know I have it linked, I think, and copy that and look for it in the in the UK. I will. Zipper, zipper, strapping, three-quarter inch cotton yes so it's nice and very strong like you would never break this with your hands good luck that's why i think it's better you um, clean your oven <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad i'm part of your cleaning <laughs> your oven regime yeah hey but that's okay at least you're getting your oven clean yeah if you want to come and do mine afterwards yeah, and then mine after that. It's all the barking. Welcome back.
Good morning, Magnolia Rose. How are you? Ruby's just on a standy up break. She'll be right back. Yep, coffee does the body good. Yes, it does. We have a new person, Magnolia Rose. She's new to me. I don't know if you know her. Hi, Magnolia. I think I've seen her before. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's do some ironing. <clears throat> ironing. Let's do some ironing. And not to the face. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to iron my face today. No. No. And it's too big to smash against it. Oh, I could smash someone with this iron. I'm hiding. Yeah. You <laughs> smash your face with an iron. Hey, I only suggested the bag. I didn't actually say you had to make it. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have never heard the end of it. You know, <laughs> remember you were going to make a bag for our project bags? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I know Olivia. I just wanted to catch up on the stitching. <laughs> right? Well, that backfired on me big time. Um, yes. Just a little bit. Wait, I could always get a, a nice leather 
briefcase handbag to put them all in. Right. Then I can save my pretty fabrics. There you go. I would get a dirty look off grumpy, I think. <laughs> grumpy. Uh, it's on the phone. He's not listening. Good thing. <laughs> Oh, he's always listening. Brilliant. Oh, he's always talking. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. God damn it. <laughs> hey, you're not eating food yet. <laughs> I heard him say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's behind me. <laughs> so if you're new here, Magnolia, welcome. Glad to have you. I hope you're not cleaning your oven out too while Amy is. Oh, Alicia's productive yes can't say she's not that's a good girl wouldn't it be easier just to buy a new oven <laughs> no. i hate cleaning <laughs> yeah well no <laughs> definitely not easier to buy a new oven hell of a not cheaper Okay, so I forgot to fold these little suckers down. So we'll fold this little sucker in. Wasn't me, I didn't do it. And then we'll fold it over now. To the middle. Hot little tamale. Where's your little finger condoms? Oh, right. I keep forgetting about those little suckers. <laughs> sure could use them right about now. Do you want to get them for me? Yeah, sure. Which drawer? Hang on, I'll just empty all the drawers into my box or my packing <laughs> you go. to come home. There you go. See what my she's going to do? Here. She's going to nick, nick them. Ah, I'm going to totally nick them. Yep. Well, oh. you said you, you needed a clean out in your craft room. I cleaned it up yesterday. God damn it. I made a hell of a mess in my craft room over the last week. Because I was being lazy, when I got home from work, I'd come in here and get something and move a bunch of shit and just leave it. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> that's what you—that's the height of laziness. That would be me last week. <laughs> oh, no, just think, guys. I'm gonna be off on vacation starting November 21st. Oh five, God, our project bags are gonna be first. So many desires to make all kinds of Christmas things, oh, and crap. I'm going to use that time to do it. So, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm cleaning, cleaning my oven. I'm <laughs> making my grandkids Christmas reusable bags in Christmas fabric to put their Christmas gifts in. Yeah, so. I'm going to be cleaning my oven. <laughs> I yeah. think it's going to take me five weeks. <laughs> five weeks to clean an oven <laughs> okay that's pretty bad you better get some help there lady and i'm not talking help by hand i'm talking mental health oh <laughs> five weeks to clean an oven <laughs> hey there's nothing wrong with my mental health <laughs> i'm Oops, happy I forgot, to, I forgot to finish that end so and you've got to turn it over yeah yeah yeah, I forgot to fold that end over. So this is the part here that will oh, house. Amy needs oxygen. Okay, Amy, you need a respirator. Yeah, you shouldn't be cleaning an oven without a mask. I'll have to buy some masks then. Yeah. <laughs> you sure will. Yeah, you, you know that's not going to happen, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> If I needed dinner, I'd just get my big sister to come in. Oh, my God. Oh, the OCD one? I mean, everything will taste like bleach, but it'll be clean. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> That's Tina. Yeah, That's she's that playing with the puppies. She's under the couch. And she's having a little fit, her little fits. Now, before I carry on, let's uh, let's fold this under. And I'm not even trimming the salvages off these, no. so no point. No point. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okie doke. So Stuart was telling me it was exactly 13 years ago last week that I gave up smoking. Yay! Yes, I remember him telling you that. And I've spent all my smoking money on crap. I mean, treasures. Crap. <laughs> I'm getting a day. Look up, Grumpy. <laughs> all right. You're going to give me a hard time, aren't you? But most of the time, I buy things for the grandkids and the, my son. This fabric is very thin, so it doesn't cooperate as nice as normal fabric would. Do they not make a bigger uh, tape? By yeah, you can get different size of that tape, but. The three quarter inch is what fits in here. Got you. Okay. go just below there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fold that Bless over. you. Bless you. And I'm going to put a pin in there, or a clip in there, just because when I pull this, I don't want to pull the tape out. Because that happens very easily. <laughs> That would happen to me. Yeah. Well, I get the grandson all next week. Yay! From eight till three. Yeah. I get to work every day. Yeah, mine's harder. <laughs> seven year old, keeping up with a seven year old. Oh my God. Yeah. But I'll be, when he goes home, I'll be right in time for your lunch. Yeah. Yay. Tomorrow might be a longer day because I have flyers. Oh, yeah, you don't like Mondays. I don't like Tuesdays. Tuesdays is the, the killer days. Ah. But at least you're wearing your shoes in this time. Yeah. New shoes. Oh, God. Silly sausage. Silly sausage, eh? Okay. Oh my God, I'd be lost without this strapping. It was probably one of the best things I invested money in. Mm. Yes, uh, you also said you were going to look for some sew-in Velcro tape. Yep, but I, I don't need it because we're not doing that route. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I just remember you saying you wanted some. Well, I was going to Velcro the flap down, but I decided to use the lobster closures. Got you. But you could also use, like, um, the, the uh, clips. So this Studs. is way longer much longer, but look at how much better, how, how perfect that's going to wrap right around the bag and up the sides to carry the weight. Yeah. Yeah. So carry on. One more. I was going to say that's only one of them. 
Yeah, it's only one. Yana. The joys of pet owners. Yeah. Real joys. <laughs> Bunch of heartbreak when you gotta go. Oh, of course. Wish there was an easier way to do this. Uh there is buy it. No, then it's not as nice. You can buy. I don't know if you can buy it this big, to be honest. I, I don't know. I don't either. Well, at least you know it's going to be done correct and strong enough. Yes. And I'm pressing open the seam just to reduce bulk. Okay. Because we do have to stitch this. Um top stitch it closed so the pdf will be in the description for anyone who doesn't no. have facebook the instructions or the cutting instructions the cutting will be in the description box later on today when I get them all worked out. And uh, the PDF will be in the group. Got you. For anyone who wants to make a big ass briefcase. And the putting it together, uh, you have to watch the video because I, I'm not good at giving instructions uh, by writing it down. I have to visually show you it. So. Well, that's how you iron out all the little kinks. Yes. And there are a few kinks that I came across that I had to make adjustments, and I'm good with them now. Yeah. Like hey, these, that's my know, job. <laughs> yes, like the handles. So you've just taught me so well, I know what to look for now. Uh -huh. I, I don't mean to find problems. <laughs> All right, that's done. Now this part. Oh, Nan's getting close to be done with the stitching along October cross stitch. Oh, uh, Livia's right behind you there. I've just completed the house, Nan. I've done mine different. How many times have I said I hate doing this? This is the part I hate the most is making I've, handles. I've never heard it. Used to me. Yeah, I think I said it yesterday. You weren't here. But I do hate this part. Uh, I had, I, yeah, I was babysitting. Uh, Tracy wants to know, is the name going to be Big Ass Briefcase? Yep. <laughs> I mean you could call it Ollie's big ass briefcase But <laughs> Ruby's big ass briefcase It's definitely Going to be big Like I'm <laughs> kind of pumped about getting this put together This is uh, why This part here is pissing me off I have to redo all this But I knew it was kind of going to happen Because I didn't think those straps were going to wrap You know I just knew it wasn't going to work so. And it, it's going to save room in the long run. You've got that one little block. Yes, because of... You can store this in the corner. Uh, you could put it in your closet. You can put it up against a wall. You can do a multitude of things with this briefcase in comparison to having projects bags laying all over. And like some of our projects that we're doing in these project bags aren't even going to be touched till next year. And I don't want them covered in dust. I don't want dust all over my project bags. So if it was all over this bag that I could just beat it around and throw it around, I'm cool with that. 
And not just that, it'll keep everything because I mean we're doing all the months. Yes. So it keeps it all together until we're ready to either frame it or make a bigger one on a yeah, one so piece. That big pocket in the front, I might use that for my finished pieces till I get them mounted and framed. So you know. Well, me being Ali, I went and bought that big ass ruler that Martha suggested for cross stitching. <laughs> That'll fit in that pocket. Yep. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. See, everything that goes in this briefcase is going to be called the big ass whatever. Big ass cross stitching. Probably. Yeah. Big ass everything. I mean, it's like if I go away for the weekend with Stuart, at least I can just pick that one briefcase up and put it in the car. All your stuff is in there. My yeah. lap has been in there. Anything. If I'm going on a holiday, which I don't go very often, especially hey. now with the COVID, <laughs> nobody goes anywhere. Any can I be lazy? What do you mean? Well, if I go and visit my sister, she's cross-stitched for the last 60 years. I'll just say, here, yeah, there's a bag. Do it. <laughs> oh. All the projects in that bag, do it. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I wish Grumpy could hear me right now. Uh, Ruby wants you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Grumpy, make her sew a bag. I'm not telling him that. Never mind. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're in my head. He can't hear you. Oh, I thought you took your headset off, you dirty pygmy. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I'm only not stupid. I'm only not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and Tracy saying, sounds perfect for my big ass. Yeah, that's a, that's us, Tracy. Yep, big ass everything. Ruby says you got to make sure I stitch this back. You've got to make sure I stitch it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I could see she's so scared she's shaking in her chair. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> no, I I I am I'm I've got to. I've bought all this material, I've bought the sewing machine. I can't just you use got it all to... the stuff to make it the <laughs> foam, everything. So well, I got the wrong big ass foam, but yeah, but it doesn't you matter. Go. You're still going to quilt it. So, anyway. But I don't want to use that vintage um, material. I want to keep that. <laughs> it's cute. All right. I never thought of that. My sister, who's a needle crafter, I'll just give her the project back and say, complete, please. Yeah, and I'll show Ruby I did it. No, I would give her the... Yeah, I'm not that daft. <laughs> not that daft? No. No, credit where credit's due. Oh. That's what I mean. You've helped me so much with that um, first project that we did. Yep. If you yeah. need help, all you have to do is ask. I ask. don't read minds. I am not telepathic. I'm not psychic. I'm not. Really? So you don't know what I'm thinking now? No, and I can just imagine what you're thinking. <laughs> See, you are a mind reader. <laughs> yeah. She's probably thinking, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> no, I was saying, biatch. <laughs> See? God damn it. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> yeah. I do's. I do's and I don'ts. <clears throat> you do's, but you don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody wants to get in my mind. Yep. So how many projects or how many straps do you think you can get out of that? full roll oh god probably a lot 
lots. Lots and lots, for sure. And I barely made a dent in it. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. So, it takes... I think there's 50 yards in there, to be honest. Wow. Yeah. That's I think lot. we had something like that at the school for sports day. Okay. You know, when they were doing the shot put and stuff like that, we had marked lines on it as a okay. measure. <laughs> right. I just got to school and make theirs. Let's get this out of my way now. Please tell me I'm done and I can start sewing this bitch together. Okay. All right. Now. Let's grab a bottom piece. So we're going to draw some lines. What's half of 15? Seven and a half. And a half. Seven and a half. Okay, so up here, we're going to mark. I guess I need to move over now. Yes, a little bit. Look at my ironing board. But are you taking into consideration the loop at the top? Huh? The loop at the... No, because it's going all the way around. Never mind. Seven and a half. Isn't the strap is 15 inches in length? Seven and a half. This is a friction pen, by the way, so don't panic. <laughs> It will iron right off with heat. Yep. All right. So I'm thinking. Um, two, three, four, five. Maybe five and a half inches in. Yeah. So we'll go five and a half inches in. Where's your piece of paper? So there. Uh, and five and a half inches in on here. Okay, so that's where our things will be. So make sure you mark five and a half at the bottom here. Put lines up. There. It over. Same thing. Five and a half. And over here. Five and a half. What am I doing? <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah, I need to go it down there. So five and a half here. Wait, it's six and a half. All right. Okay, duck. That part's done. Coffee time. Now. Oh, shoot. We have to we stitch these. You haven't stored them yet. Yeah, we have to stitch these closed. So, I'm going to use a two inch seam. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. We won't be. You'll see once we get them attached. You want them a little bit long.
I've just had an idea. You know the the Christmas village ornaments that we're going to do. Uh -huh. Could we use the gold thread that they provided to make a pretty border around them, like a swirly one? We could, yes. Okay, I'm just double checking that I my thread. See, look, did not catch on this side. Oopsie. That's what you have to pay attention to. Okay. Because they look pretty with the gold around them. Just got to double check it. Make sure it all caught. That strap is done. Yay. Now we'll do one this. down, one to go. Yep. That went pretty quick. Yeah. Yes, Laura, um, I'm trying to keep up with it, but it's hard. But yes, I'm doing exactly the same cross-stitch projects. We have she made me. <laughs> of all their cross-stitch projects. Oh, this one didn't want to slide out properly, nicely. Here we go. I'm going to trim that off before I forget. Make sure we didn't miss any openings. I don't think I did. Beautiful. How did we come up with the idea of doing all these cross stitch projects? I can't remember. I don't either, so don't ask me. <laughs> I know we were sitting one day talking about diamond paintings and all right, cross stitch. So line that up and line it up here. And we're going to put pins in it. 
dab it, as Rowan would say. There's a pin there. And with our lines, pin it. And pin it. Okay. Now, make sure, make sure this is not twisted. Oh, so you've got to make sure it's not twisted. Right. Are you sure about that? Oops. Positive. Okay, Doc. Positive. Positive. Who's getting notifications? It's YouTube saying, please come back. We miss you. All right. That's that side. Now I'm just going to check to make sure I did not twist this because last time I made this, it twisted. I made a bag and I had a twisted handle. And I did not appreciate it. All right, so we're just going to butt these right up together. Like so. Like a saw. Same thing here. Now, we'll butt this baby up. But. Butt it. <laughs> butt it up. Butt it real good. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Why so? I was singing. Uh, Laura says, maybe we're all influenced by the fat quarter shop. Um, no, I don't think it was them. Yeah, it was them that influenced me. Yeah, and you told us to do it. Once That's you right. my bag, guys, I will show you what, what Livia and I did. And I will go through each project bag and show you everything for the project bag, how we did this. Oh, my to God. This date organized. All right. Yeah. 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 Where my headache started. Yeah. She goes, You're doing my head in. <laughs> well, it was, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take a back stitch here, pull the pin out. Ow! So I jab myself with it. You found the sharp bit. And I'm just trying to stitch over top of my line, which isn't very straight. But yeah. Oh, shoot. That one flew. Oh, good. It landed right there. Mm. Hallelujah. That's a good one, then. Let me think. Let me think. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Sorry. <laughs> I want to stitch. Hang on. I want to stitch half an inch away from here. So I'm just going to mark make half sure, an inch. Make sure you haven't twisted it. Oh, I haven't moved it. Okay. So measure half an inch. Stitch down there. So I'm going to stitch on this line to there. We have gotten a lot of Kimberly's patterns that she's doing. Okay. And kits. That's how you measure, and this is how you careful with the pins. I'm glad that the pins are gone. Got a 
I'm actually going to back stitch like that. And I'm going to open this up because I went too far down here. Did I back stitch? Sure did. Laura, that's the best thing about Ruby. Yes, she might pay a little bit more for the the projects, but she tells us a cheaper form to do them. Sorry, Debbie, I meant. Okay, let's let's do this. Where's my pen? Where's my ruler? Let's mark this. If there's a cheaper way to do it, Ruby will tell us. Just do it that way. Okay, I don't dig these pens. Now, now we're going to measure from the center, we're going to measure half an inch. And from the center, we're going to measure half an inch. Okay. From this end here, you're going to measure, um, put this around, measure one inch. And from over here, we're going to measure. It's going to be really hard to do that. Well, I can still do it. Really you can do it. Okay. I believe in you. So now we're going to make crisscrosses and boxes around. That will give us a lot of um, stability in that. So I'm going to turn my work. And we're going to create them boxes. So I'm going over my stitching again. I'm going to cover up those pins because I hate them. And now I'm going to go on a diagonal. Turn around. Go across. And on a diagonal. Then I'm going to travel down again. Doesn't matter how many times we sewed, the more the better. And I'm going to go on a diagonal here. And because this is the center join, I'm backing, tracking, and I'm going to go over this three times. Okay. Just to be safe. Well, it's where we joined the two. It's where the joint is. And that's yeah. the more you stitch there. Like over here, not so much am I worried about that. Uh-oh. Wow. Did I seriously do that? Oh, my God. I stitched the handle. Okay, that's so not good. Ruby is stitching her handle to show you what not to do. Or yeah, how to fix it. Is the one that's back stitched. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, lordy, lordy. Now I'll just start all over again. Where was I? Something woke him up. Someone walked in our street. Oh, jeez. There's a pin there. Yeah, I'm going to just stitch back down over this because I don't know how far it ripped out. So we will just go over this again. And make sure our handles are all on top. So we don't ever do that again. I'm just being extra cautious here. And now this other X. Okay. Carry on down the line. Yep.
All right. That part is wonderful. It is, Tracy. Cute, cute, cute. Just going to take all the threads off the top, and I don't care about the threads on the bottom. because That is all going to be gone. So look at the support we have now. Love it. So now let's do this one. I'm going to stitch it down first like I did. The more stitching on this, I think the better it is. It's a big ass bag. <laughs> you like saying that word. What? You like saying that word, big ass bag. Yep. Okay, so we're at the halfway point. Where's my marker? Here. Or halfway, we're at the beginning here. So you only want to stitch there and I started right at the beginning there like I did last time dark so keep your handles on top don't do what I did Last pin roots and uh, Nan nice. has to go. Nan saying have a great day, Ruby, and everyone gotta go. Bye, Bye. Nan. Thanks for coming. Take care. Have a good day, Nan. Stay safe. Always stay safe. Yes. All right, so let's do our half inch plus our one inch. So I've got that. You've got it. there's no pins. <laughs> now I can swing it around. I need you. Okay, so let's draw our from the center here, half on that side and half on this side. And our one inch over here. We're good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Here we are. in the room. Howdy, howdy, all Patsy's hey, in the house.
all good here? Patsy, how's you and Pat? All right. Check these out. So there is the bottom of our bag that's going to lift our bag. Awesome. Oh, nice long handles. You can even put them over your shoulder like a cotton picking soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened to my... I lost my thing. Lost your marbles? Lost them a long time ago. No, I lost my YouTube. Oh, okay. Are you still here? All right. Now, break time and then... I don't know. What time is it? You've been live eight? three hours, 15 minutes. Okay. I go to the four-hour mark. Now... Yeah. Now we need to do the flat part and one of the sides, the front or the back. No, we need the front. And we yeah. need the flap. So let's sew our flap shut. Then we will turn it inside out. Where do you put the clasps, Ruby? What? Where do you put the clasps? Have you marked them, measured them? Not yet. You, okay. Not yet. Hold on, woman. Didn't know if you forgot. Okay, so I'm going to be sewing this at probably at the 20 mark. I want this to be a little smaller than the bag. Well, just a little smaller, but not that much. So we'll do five eighths instead of a half inch. <laughs> this is where I'm going to have problems. Oh, good. I'm happy, Patsy. Patsy wants to know how's work. Rough. Rough. <laughs> now, there is our flappity flaps. Oh, shit. What, what, what do you do? Should have, nah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Where is my scissors? Let's trim this down to a nice quarter inch seam. Okay. That work is so thin. Now at this corner here, I'm going to be crunching it a little close, make it easier to turn my flap out. That fence is the same color as the door, isn't it? Uh, yeah. uh, no, the fence is darker brown. Oh, darker. Yep. Okay. Yep, it's the darker brown. Uh, Patty wants to that for her. No, it's mine. No way. <laughs> Nobody's getting this. Hey. Not even you, Liv. That's not what you said. <laughs> no, what I said is you're making your own. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't hear that bit. Yeah, you're trying to make me sound like I have Alzheimer's. You're trying to make me think I'm a sore. <laughs> that fly's <laughs> buzzing in again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's back for revenge. Because oh, I yeah. spotted him. He's got a headache. He's going to do my head in. So could you add the clasps to the bottom so they stuck out when you turned it inside out? What do you mean? Well, the the clasps to fasten it. I still don't know what you mean. Oh. So they're sticking out. Yeah, so they're hanging out at the bottom of the, the pouch. That 
Where you oh, hang you off. stitched them in here? Yeah, and then so they're hanging out like I'm a sound sure. off. I guess that would work. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Be You're going to die, fly. <laughs> I'm just going to open these seams up, but I want to measure in before I top stitch this. Okay. Yeah. I just thought that might give it some um, strength. Why are you not coming out pretty like the other side? Wow, it's got a death wish. The fly? Yeah. I don't know where he was hiding, but he's back for revenge. Okay, I'll just open up the seam, tuck that in, and backstitch it. Sorry, I thought I made myself, I should have made myself more clearer. Now, these are the two pieces we'll put there. So we need to mark in with the marker. So let's measure in. Um, about there. So how far is that? That is... <laughs> Tracy says, you're all wrong. It's for me. Blows a kiss. <laughs> Back I'm off, Tracy. <laughs> Where do I think I want these? Although, in truth, Debbie is actually close. She could beat us there to get it. I'm measuring in five inches. Five inches, okay. Yes, ma'am. Five inches. So... They're going to go inside here. That there is fighting talk, Tracy. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pick these stitches open. And tuck them in and top stitch them down. Yes, ma'am. I hate doing this like this, but I should turn the bag out. Uh, I should have made myself more clearer at the beginning. Sorry. Yeah, I was very confused. Uh, Patsy, she's not in. She's locking the door, so don't even go. Save your petrol. Yeah, stay home. Where it's nice and warm. Safe. No COVID. There we go. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> We need a jet. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Well, Ruby's actually there, so she did show up first. Wait. We need to stitch these down. Damn it. Forgot about these guys. <laughs> long before Ruby stays indoors as well for five weeks. Yes. Not that she's tired of staying indoors. I'm not working through that Christmas work. Not happening. Not at I'm my I'm going on strike. I'm hiding. <laughs> One way to get them to stay stuff. Yeah. There we go. No messing about. Nope. And bring them down a bit. And I went and trimmed this too, so we are going to very carefully clip this. 
uh, Peanut said he's staying, he's taking his holidays at Christmas time too. Who? Peanut? Yeah, he doesn't have as long as me. It's Peanut Albert? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm putting does. people together. Also peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see all that one? What? I'm I'm just talking out loud. Okay. Where's that? All right, get you in there, trim threads after. One inch, too much. One inch. All right, we're gonna top stitch all the way around. I'll trim all these threads later. All right. Turn the top to the three. Debbie, are you still with us, please? Now let's trim off some little threads here that are not welcomed, especially where I pulled out some stitching here. There is our flap. Look at how cute is that. It is cute. Now, for one thing is I have to get the bag sewn together before I can actually put the bottom ones on because I have no idea where to put them yet until I actually fold this flap over. So, um, I am not sure if I'm just going to pull out some of this and create, uh, you know, a seam in here and close the flap and attach the flap this way. So I'll stitch it here and here, but as long as this reaches over the bag. So I'm not sure where I have to put that flap yet, where I have to put those things. But this okay. here flap can go either way. I could flip it that way. Or I could have it this way. Super cute, no matter which way. Super, super darling. I love it. Nice and big. What's the, Where's the front of your bag that goes underneath that flap? Okay, this is the bottom. Yeah. Which is the last piece I sew on. So we're going to sew our sides. 
So you're going to sew one side to the other. And we're going to do half inch seams. We're going to start at the top, but we're going to stop it at a half inch down here. And for some reason, this is not quite lining up. So we will join that here because we have to do Y seams. So, unfortunately. There, there, and we're going to draw a half inch seam. So I'm going to stop, stop here. Where do I stop a half inch away? I think it's one inch. I'm going to do one inch. I'm going to mark one inch on here. So I'm going to stitch down here to the one inch mark and I'm going to back stitch for sure. So where's my half inch? We're right there. So follow the red line. left. Nope. We got to go down another half inch. I'm pretty sure. Yes. All right. So I'm going to draw a half inch line right to there. So half inch, not one inch. Yes, Tracy, I'm a gold girl. Tracy says multicolored beaded bead earrings by whom handmade now would actually wear those pretty little daisy earrings hmm. all right so this is the front of our bag we're going to sew that um, half inch as well it's not the perfectest So I already see my half inch there, so that's good. But I'm going to sew it this side here. So oh, shit. I don't have it on this side. Got it now. And we're doing half inch seals. This one you so right up. Done. Now we'll sew our other side. Here to here. Stitch all of those because oh, I sealed no. them at three. Oh, I am really hot. I gotta go take a break for a minute. Uh, you've been live three hours, through, through 34 minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, have a break, have a smoke. I'm going to go outside where it's cold as I'm boiling hot. I didn't have a smoke over there. I don't have any fan in here right now. It's in my bedroom. So, let me just quickly restitch these. That one's done. Glad I caught that. Because yes. what will happen is when we pull this apart, the stitching's so big. Yeah. What a mess that stitching was. Where is it? It's right there. So okay. this is how big this bitch is. Patsy says, put your fan back in there, sis. Okay, why? Okay, there's my half inch, half inch, half inch. Okay, perfect. Keep these all this way. No, it's a pain in the ass to keep bringing it from my room. Do you need another one? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite warm in here. Yeah, especially with all the My monitors and burning. So hot. All the lighting. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. Okay, dope. Just gonna get take a little teeny tiny break. <clears throat> And I am absolutely undecided where to stitch my handles off. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take a break. Or maybe yeah. quit. I think I'm just going to quit. All right. I'm done for the day, guys. So I'll finish this maybe tomorrow. After work? After work. Depends see, on how long of a day I have. Yeah, see how you are. First. I have to take, I have to take at least, you know, a half an inch of this interfacing off. Not the interfacing, but this bozel. Oh shit! I can't. It's quilted down. Yeah. Well, man, we're just gonna have to fold over our edging. Uh, Patsy says you have a small one for the table. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one, sister. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to fold it in like that. Bye, Laura. Stay safe. Bye, have Laura. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna fold it in like this, but I'll do this tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here, it's too hot. Yeah, and I don't want to have food. Too big of a seam. Anyway, I'll deal with that when the time comes. All right. But I can't put these on because these have to go. I'm actually going to put these on the back. So the pocket, <clears throat> the pocket to me is going to be the back part of this. The front will be this blank part where I can attach the thing to the front here. Yeah. I can't do that to the pocket. If I try to do that to the pocket, it's uh, it's going to, it's going to cut the pocket down. So I'm not going to okay. do that. Tracy says, okie dokie. See you later guys. Thanks sweet Ruby. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day. See you probably tomorrow or Tuesday. God bless. Bye everyone.